Could see something like a Camille here if you really wanted to try to lock down these carries here for T1. I like the Renekton a lot more. <laughs> it's Lord Morgan. He's got a no respect alongside. to Lord Morgan's Renekton. Well, the draft here for Breon couldn't be more basic, right? It's a Picking up the money. We always have to mention this because it's part of why this champ is strong. As owner C is seen. Looking for the slow with the boomerang, but owner's pretty far away. Looks like he was not quite in flash range. But there's the wall up and Morgan not gonna His owner was pretty close to setting that one up. Not quite close enough. Yeah, unfortunately, Umpty, I'll hold that thought. I've heard. Baker really doesn't want to flash here. And he will have to, actually, as the soldier. These types of aggressions. The effort is really Pressing the envelope here. And okay. Umpty will be able to pick that run up. straight at Karis, who has Flash. Now, when Faker doesn't have his, it's kind of interesting as now they're trying to get on top of Umpty, who does not have his clone, does not have level six, and does not have his Flash anymore. They're going to give. It happens to the best of us. Um, level six, by the way. Uh oh. Sejuani? Ass and Sejuani? Oh, maybe he's Karis, or Karis rather, has something else to say about that. Sweeps in two of them and says, thank you very much for the free kills. Now, Kerry has caught out. He's definitely going to go down that arrow, unfortunately. Yeah, that Morris poke. Drake's got buffed in terms of their health a while back, but as longer fights, he feel good as Zayus. Just like helping him do the red buff. Not sure. Maybe baiting Morgan in. They're actually going to potentially set up a dive here onto a and They have an Ash Arrow in tow here for Kerry. Oh, there it is. And now it's just easy follow-up. <laughs> oh, this he is was just straight up. Like, yes, now Morgan has been ganked. But before this, it was still just as oppressive in the 1v1. It's so difficult One more time. to play this as taking a lot of turret shots. Owner was definitely thinking about it. And Guma has just been the brunt of all of the action on the other side of the map as he's trying to get the kill here on the Guma. Umpty will eventually be able to do that. T1 still controlling the map. As here we go. Faker a little bit low on mana. Umpty here as well. 1v2 as Faker is just trying to run away and buy as much time as possible. As there is another cube from Faker, but eventually Karis will take him down. Now okay. They can actually try to collapse onto Morgan here now on the bottom side of the map to force this into a split fight. Look at Uh oh, Kerry, uh, he's all alone. He's got a barrier. He has to ult and flash just to get out of there. As Umpty does go pretty deep, takes a, a beating there from Faker. As now Zeus just walks up to them in Mininar, he's going to have to flash away. Umpty taking a massive amount of damage, though, as even the Kemptek Drake is getting in there. Is even more fed. 1 0 and 1 did go for the new improved Grievous Wounds on this uh, Chain Pug Chem Sword. Um, Zeus is in a little bit of trouble, but he has Meganar on the way. Can they burst him down? Yes, they can as the teleport comes in. Fingers on top of two people. He has to flash. That's what I'm playing, but he has no stopwatch. He has no uh, teleport. He has no flash. So if Breon are, are decisive now around this, this Baron, then maybe you can make a plays in live. Okay, nothing really significant. This is just the pick that we were talking about when Baker has to flash here. Does drop his gravity field off and will get away fairly. They're going to start it up, but Finally. it's really tanky. So he can face check everything and get them positioned early. Let's see if they can actually threaten this, though. Umpty is taking a lot of damage. There's the arrow into Karis. Look at the laser as Karis is just being burst down and Owner gets in there and steals it away. Very much a flip. And T1 will get away with murder and some more as the Nar ult doesn't hit too much, but still going to get a lot of value at the end of the day. Karis also might be going down here. If Karia has anything to say about it, now he'll live. But Umpty, maybe not so good for him, as this should be four kills and the Baron to the side of T1. Pretty sure he just changed his anathemas chain over to T1. As it looked good until it didn't, right? Morgan has his long bat blast cone. It looks like, okay, they're going to turn, right? Surely they'll turn, right? They have an Azir, right? Who's level 16, right? No. And just casually with Baker's damage, walks up and takes it, Owner does. And Morgan, please leave him out to dry. He's like, I, I long range blast cone. 
Uh, I, th I think we're turning, right? We're turning, Breon, right? Like, my team, we're turning, right? And they do not. And yeah. there's a lot of gold picked up for Faker. He's going to have a death cap soon. Yeah. Going for uh, this build we see very often, except this time with the Luden instead of Leandries. Morgan, once again. He's he just hit a couple of those scryers. Oh, Good. Faker spots the guy behind. Yeah. Seen and they have some really nice range as well. As oh no, Var is so close to his cleanse. Poor Henna didn't have flash, might not have mattered, but yeah, looks like T1 is gonna put them out of their misery here in game number one. 30 minutes in, and Zeus has well, he had a nice shield and now he's gone. So T1, they lose their Nar as the two junglers are going head to head. Morgan and Karis together are relatively threatening. So, in fact, they're just gonna go away. Owner was just 1v1ing the Wukong and he's just gonna die. 7,000 gold lead here, taking out some inhibitors and is a little bit disjointed here after they take this one out. As you can see, they do take Henna down and then I think there's a split call on from Zayas so like being like, all right, we just push to end this, right? And we get Faker, Guma pushing towards the top side of this and then Zayas gets Empress divided, is taken out. And then, uh-oh, Umpty's still on the flank. Somebody's chasing him. And then the team is very split. Karia takes a ton of damage here. And yeah, um, looks like Owner, maybe this time he didn't get the anathemas on the Bukong. So maybe he was trying to... Securing these Barons, they play great early mid. And we're like trying to find Fall. That will probably be spotted. Yeah, take a look at where Karia is just throwing out the hawk shot. He's going to find Umpty. He has Flash. <laughs> He's just gonna throw out an arrow. He's like, guys, I'm just gonna throw this in. I might die. This Umpty's flank might come through here. They are still pushing into an Azir, so this isn't just free at, by any means. As Henna's trying to 1v1 Zeus here, decent amount of damage. But Baker just says goodbye to the Karma. As he did flash forward for that one, doesn't seem to care. But now Karis? he's gonna get swept up as Karis is pretty low and he's got a Sivir on top of him, so that should do it. T1 now will be able to push in and end the game. Very clean stuff here until the end where it was... Uh, <laughs> until it wasn't. There were some rocky moments, but I think we could just forgive because the game was... ここはこれだけ。ここは切った。で、あれの解除で、で、ここはあれで巻くわけだ。ビカイパス、ビカイパスで大巻かけ。話で切れたら、あと増えてこない。あれそこ。おお、ドブよ。ああ。じゃあ